In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to begin a short series where we look at common problem solving in building a video project. I recently did a 40-some second clip and ran into five major issues. The first one is the footage I first shot was too static. The second is my horizontal was not right. And you see that on the screen in front of you. The third, you also see the colors were a little bit dull. Fourthly, the music that I selected for it was great, but too short. And fifth, the title animation that I thought I could do in PowerDirector seemed too limiting, and I found a way to expand on that. So those are five issues that we're going to help solve as we help train you in learning to be a good problem solver moving from something that doesn't seem to quite work to something that is exceptional. I'd like to give you a preview of a semi-finished product with a few seconds on the screen of the clip, and then we'll show you some of the problems we had to solve to get there, and hopefully this will be useful for you in your decision-making as a video photographer or video editor. The first problem we had was that the footage was basically boring. So this clip which I took, which I placed on track number one, uh, turns out to be interesting. There's a little color. It's the scene I wanted, but you notice the first few seconds it doesn't go anywhere. It's just too dull. And so what I'd like to recommend, and this is what I had to do, is think about how do I make this more interesting. We could zoom in or zoom out or pan. But what I thought would be fun, and I'm going to take this off the timeline so you can see the one I did use, is I basically just started shooting the water in front of the camera, which was on a tripod. The thing that this does is this gives a little bit of mystery to the beginning of the clip because you don't know where you are. Are you in an ocean? Are you in a harbor? Are you out in the middle of nowhere? Are you in a city? You really don't know. And so it gives a bit of mystery, and it's a, it's a great way in which you can put credits or other thing, titles on the screen, and people don't know exactly what it's building to. But then you notice you begin to see the colors in the upper right, and, you, and it starts to define the locale one frame at a time, which is a little bit interesting. You're drawing someone into a picture. You're taking them someplace without even moving the camera, except from the bottom of the shot up. You may have to shoot this several times to get this kind of effect because on most cameras, unless you have hundreds and hundreds of dollars of accessories, it's hard to get a nice smooth motion. And I found that I had to shoot this many times so that I could move that tiny little motor in my camera so it didn't look too jerky. You may have to do the same thing, but it's worth it if you have the patience for that. So that's a tip on going from boring to more interesting. You have to plan your shot or reshoot your video. But uh, a little thought goes a long way, and I liked how it eventually turned out. Now the second problem we're going to solve in this tutorial is the problem you see on the screen here of a bad horizontal. Now the camera was horizontal with the earth. It, it was perfectly level. But from the angle in which I was shooting, you notice that the bridge seems to be going uphill toward the left. That's not what I wanted. Let's see how we can solve that one in PowerDirector. I'm going to highlight the clip and then click on the Tools menu above the timeline and choose Power Tools. And then from the secondary menu, we're going to choose 
crop, zoom, and pan. That gets me into my crop, zoom, and pan tool. Now if I drag over on the right, you see I run right into my issue. I want to level it so the left side is lower. So I'm going to highlight my single keyframe control for the entire clip. And then I'm going to change the rotation number. I'm going to click it up to go clockwise about four. And then if I move over here to the right, if you look at the preview screen up, you know this is perfectly level. Now the other thing I need to do, I'm going to lose a little bit of screen real estate when I do this, is I need to make sure these black areas where we're out of the picture are taken care of. So all I, all I need to do to do that is click back on the diamond and then I'm going to drag my corners until they're all inside the frame. Now one thing I like about PowerDirector in the most recent version is you have these pink marks when you hit the edge of it. Now when I slide over in the clip, you notice now it's full screen. I've lost a little bit but uh, it's perfectly level. And if I want to, I can drag this a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. I think that gives me more of the shot that I want. And I'll put it just a little bit to the left here. And again, you look at the preview screen, it looks really good. So I'll click on OK. And now we'll just play part of it here. When we play the clip, the camera's still moving up a little bit into the trees. And you notice it's it's virtually horizontal. It's much better than what it was before. So that's a very simple way to solve problem one is reshoot with some thought into it. Problem two is you can use the crop, zoom, and pan tool when you want to change the apparent horizon on a video with CyberLink PowerDirector. We'll look at a couple of the other issues and solve them in the next tutorial.